Joining us now from the WGN newsroom, architect with a vision, <laughs> Dina Griffin. How you doing this evening, I'm Dina? Good, Gerard. How are you? I am so glad that you're on the show. I saw you in Ebony Magazine. I saw you on Ebony Magazine's website as well. I was intrigued. I said, we have to get this young lady on the show. When did you choose architecture or when did architecture choose you? Thank you. That's a much better term because it happened by accident. I was in high school and I, I don't want to date myself, but uh, when I was in school, we had the choice of home economics or industrial education. Mm. And goodness knows, I did not want to do home economics. <laughs> I may be regretting it now because of my cooking skills, but I chose industrial education. And that year, they were, ch they were teaching architectural design. Yeah. And that's how I got introduced to it, that and Mike Brady on the Brady Bunch. Wow, oh, I love yeah. that. You know, that was one of my favorite shows. I'm dating myself now. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Peter, Bobby, hey, hey, Dina, talk to me about this because, and I'm so glad that you chose architecture in, instead of yeah. being able to make a sandwich as well, <laughs> but check it out. Who were some of your mentors or who was your mentor when it came to becoming an architect? Well, see, that's the, that's the issue and it's the issue now. I mean, it, there are 110,000 approximately architects in the United States. Of those, there are only about 1,700 African-American architects oh. and of that, 250 of us are black females. Oh my. In the goodness. nation. So we don't really have that many to look up to. And growing up, going through the process, going through my education, my professors were my biggest mentors. You know, when you don't see people who look like you in a field that you enjoy, it's not that you can't achieve that goal, it's just that you need the structure and it's always nice to have examples. I mean, I'm looking right. at this stat here, the PATH curriculum, sixth African-American female licensed architect in Illinois. I mean, yes. that's unbelievable, Dina. I was Dana. number six, number six. You know, yeah. I, let's talk about the Art Institute Modern Wing <laughs> contract, and I want to show some pictures of that structure okay. as well. The modern wing, people pass by that structure every day. It is phenomenal. <laughs> Talk to me about how that contract came into being. Well, we at Interactive Design are very proud of that. We are a 10-person firm. At the time, we were eight, but we're a 10-person firm. And we were already uh, working with the Art Institute of Chicago, doing their back-of-house projects, a lot of uh, art storage. And most of their art is behind the scenes, not on display. Mm. And we were doing a lot of other small projects for the museum that really were not glamorous and then this project came up and when you work with a foreign or an architect outside of the the city and outside of the United States you have to have a local architect of record in order to usher through all of the code issues and mm. local building issues and the Art Institute thought that we would be a good fit yeah. with Renzo Piano and working with Renzo is like working with if you're an artist a Pablo Picasso or Claude Monet okay you know I gotta go to break but I want to talk about Renzo Piano a little bit more and Absolutely. I want you to explain this stay with us as Dina Griffin she's with us tonight on Gerard McClendon live talking about architecture <laughs> idea8.com it's also interactive design eight architects and Renzo Piano hey they collaborate on the beautiful Art Institute Modern Wing Tina talk to me about Renzo Piano a little bit more because I'm like out of all the firms they could have chosen they chose Dina Griffin's firm they chose I, I, I mean how did they how did they seek you out I mean were you on the radar or what well again we were uh, the Art Institute was our client and we served our client very well and we had a great relationship with them and as soon as the idea of using Renzo came about they were all on board with yeah. using us and Renzo's people came in from Paris came to our office before we renovated and uh, the rapport was struck and it was positive and it's been a wonderful collaboration since 1999. You know what, you're proving on my show tonight that all things are possible Absolutely. and, and I, I was looking at a quote from your website, don't let others define you, treat yes. barriers as motivation, what do you mean by that? Well, you can't let obstacles get in your way, especially if they're obstacles that other people have placed there for you, you've got to just, you, you can't see them, you have to crash through them and, and just and persevere. Yeah. And D D Dina, where'd you go to high school? 
Kenwood Academy. Oh, you went to yeah. Ken Oh, I'm sure yeah. with some proud people out there right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, Ab the Ebony Magazine shoot, how did that go? That went well. Uh, it was a four-hour process, uh, and it, there was a lot of information that was gleaned, and it was a, a shorter article than expected, but it was there was also an accompanying video that I actually enjoyed because I got to take a tour, a video tour uh, of the building and give a lot of statistics about the modern wing. Yeah, yeah, the video was awesome. Uh, Dina, when you tell people, I'm an architect, what kind of looks do you see on their faces? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. If it's, uh, if you're walking into a room full of contractors, yeah. uh, for the first time, when I did that the first time, I got a lot of stunned uh, expressions because yeah. a lot of people weren't expecting uh, a female, let alone someone black and at the time young. Yeah. So I get a lot of looks and so a lot of the times I get a, a look of wonder and all they want to do is hear about the profession. Right. If I'm talking to kids, however, their first their first question is always, how much do you make? That's right. How much yeah. money do you make? I yeah. love it. And that's mm -hmm. a good question coming from right. children. <laughs> hey, Dina, I want to thank you for being on Gerard McClendon Live tonight. We're going to put some of your contact information up. And, and I, I would hope that some children would call you and say, I'm wow, hopeful. I'm fascinated by Dina Griffin. Thanks for being on GML tonight. Thank you so much. You're we welcome. We appreciate it.